So welcome back to Snow Runner, my own self-imposed hardcore mode. And this is just a continuation of my last video. Uh, all I did was stop my stream and start it all over again. And just look at something there. So I did go over into Zemnogorsk. Or as I called it in when I first started playing the game, Zim, because I couldn't pronounce Zemnogorsk. And I learned how to do it with a little bit of practice. What's down there? That looks like a place where an upgrade might be. One of the hidden ones. I don't think so, but... Check it out while I'm here. That would be a good place for one. Alright, so anyway, we're heading to open up the last watchtower here in Quarry. And you can actually skirt your way through here with a small enough vehicle. And I do have a small enough vehicle. I will have to come over here and open that up because this is a main road that I take a lot. And I don't remember if there's a road that cuts up here or not. Or if it cuts over this way. I think it's this way. So let's head this way. And if nothing else, we'll just climb up the mountain. Oh, by the way, uh, before the last video, I did actually uh, find one of the upgrades for the suspension for this vehicle. And I did put that on. It's not the tuned one, which makes it a little bit higher. It's like the middle of the road suspension lift. And then I did put the uh, middle size mud tires on it. And I like it with this setup. I don't like it with the tune and the huge mud tires. I don't think it handles as good and it becomes a little tippy. But for me, the middle of the road uh, works really well. And I don't have many issues with that. It'll climb just about anything I want it to. And it doesn't get stuck. So I think that's way to the watchtower, and it is. There we go. So beautiful maps. Can't give the developers enough kudos on the maps. Enough compliments because these are some very beautiful maps. down here. Whoa, don't you dare. And see when you get the middle of the road tires on it, uh, suspension and tires, you can save yourself. I want to go down this road. I think there's something down here, and there it is. So you may have seen it on the right-hand side of the screen. It is the Dan. So the Dan is a free vehicle. 
And... Uh-oh. Why is it not letting me take it? I thought you could just jump into it. Well, unless I have, well, I don't know. Um, took a winch to it. Oh, it's out of fuel. Okay. Still attach the winch. And it's not going to let me move it. This truck does not have enough ass. Even though it's out of fuel, I should be able to jump into it. Alright, so let's try... Huh. Do I have to be a certain level? I don't know. So let's try on the Zemnogorsk. And resetting this map. And see if that'll let me get into it. Because I saw it move when I got up to it. It jumped a little bit. But it's also not showing up on my truck list. Nope. Ah, that's kind of weird. All right, try one more thing. And we will go over to the garage. And see if I need to be a level 26 before I I'm able to get the truck. And if not, I got one more thing to try before we move on. Like I said, I was almost completed. I was already level 26. I did with Russia before I actually found the Dan. So if I go into the garage here and go to my truck store, let's see what it says about the Dan. Uh, 
Up, explore the world to unlock the truck. Okay. So let's try this. Go back to the main menu and then come back into it. I did notice before the 5.0 update uh, there were some things like some trailers that I couldn't deliver until I got out of the game or went back to the main menu and then came back into the game and they fixed those but I had already completed I think I'd already completed Russia before the uh, update 6.0 or excuse me update 5.0 I check my mic make sure I turned it back on after the train all right so my global map go to the quarry yeah it's still not showing up as a vehicle I do not know. So it show me it gets out of fuel. Still won't let me put fuel in it. And still won't let me change trucks. I don't know. I'll come back to it later. Something else I want to check out. Kind of repair. Oh. So the only repair points I carry are four tires. Thought I actually had some repair points in this truck. some lights on the situation. Did I go the right way? No, I did not. Oh yeah, I did. I was looking at the wrong way on the truck. So I do have an upgrade over here. It's off to my right. halfway on my fuel and this is the tuned custom upgrade for this vehicle which I'm not going to use I 
because I like it set up just like this. And as soon as I get it back to the garage, I'll put the bigger engine in it. I do have a trailer down here. What is that? I think it's a flatbed. Yep, flatbed trailer. And I've got an upgrade over here. And this road leads to... Uh, what's the other map? Oh, I can't think of it. Rift. So that leads to rift, and I really don't have the gas to get in there and get to one of the fuel tankers. So I will leave that. And do Zemnogorsk. The mission truck. Accept that. And let's take a look, make sure we got all of the watchtowers open. And I did. And just to go and verify, we'll go all the way down to bottom. And all of the watchtowers are opened. And I have no upgrades to get other than the hidden one. I think there's two hidden, three hidden ones. Yes, there's one here that I can come back out and get. There is one here along this road. I think it's over by this house. And there's one up here. I think it's right in there. And I will get those in a bit. So right now let's get some watchtowers open. On Zimnogorsk. At least till my fuel runs out. Do 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 do. Skip the scene. And going to head over here to the site of our next garage. Unfortunately. We've got to build it. So I did not know in my first playthrough, because I had not watched anybody play this game, or uh, excuse me, in uh, Russia maps here. Except that. Uh, I thought this was just a loading point where you can get some stuff, maybe a repair station. But there are some missions where you'll bring some supplies over here and this will turn into your other garage that you can get to. Okay, no other missions in here. So I may go ahead and set up, uh, I always do this. I 
miss that entrance or exit, depending upon which side of the uh, fence you're on. All right, so I got a watchtower here, and I can get to it from down here. And I better refuel, see how much fuel I have left. Oh yeah, except that one. This one I had actually forgotten about this mission uh, in my other playthrough and just happened to be exploring and came across a box and got in the box and it said that I had completed that mission. That'd be harder. Harder ground. But it's soft. All right, one upgrade, two upgrades, three upgrades, four. Nope, oh, just two. And they are over here, one behind the house, and one up in the trees. So, truck recovery. Um, I'm going to park this here. And we'll go over to the load star. Because it has the fuel tanker. And this one straight through here. here. So another upgrade and objectives. So we've got the dock here that we're going to have to build and that's a pretty cool uh, when you do this one. It's got a pretty cool cutscene where it builds all of that. So we've got our trailer store. I do have a trailer over here that I can get. And I can't get across here to get that upgrade. So I have to build a bridge first. And unfortunately, you cannot build a bridge here. That would make it so much easier. So 
So a lot of missions. Let's get hooked back up to the trailer and get the last watchtower. And then I can head over to Rift and start getting that unlocked. But I'll probably have to go back and get this refueled. And once I get this other watchtower unlocked, I'll go back to the Dan and see if I can get that to work. Don't know why it's not working. And I needed for this one a bridge recovery. What was that one? Two concrete slabs. So that'll be one of the first missions I'll do over here, once I get over in this area. And, uh, yeah, that's right I want to take. Go down in the river, and go around the bridge. I haven't done this with a trailer on the back. A lot more muddy than I remembered. The only thing I've really brought this way was the Tega when it was fully upgraded and the Western Star. So I'm not sure how this vehicle will do. And the Tatrum. It'd probably do okay if I wasn't pulling the trailer. A little bit further. Test the winch. should allow me to attach up here. Nope, that's wrong. Oh, my winch point disappeared. Could be in trouble. Alright, let's 
three attached trailer. Let's see if we can get a winch point behind us somewhere. Come on, push me a little bit. Okay, so making headway that way. And rid of this trailer. Up this way. There we go. No problem. I know you're about out of gas. Alright, so the last watchtower is out this way. So we'll just continue to follow the road and see where that takes us. Because I don't remember. But it seems to be going. I hate this part of the map over on this side because it is just all mud and it's a pain in the butt to get through. So we'll just avoid it. And Watchtower is... Good market. Oh, that was almost bad. Oh, out of gas. Forgot to fill up.
over the river and through the woods. To Grandmama's house we go for a watchtower. There we go. We're on the road now. Off to my left. Just as I hit the map button, I saw the blue. Alright, another upgrade. Oh, them upgrades. Two more. Let me go for three. Never gives me three. Oh, didn't want to do that. Wanted to do this. Alright, so we see as much of the map as we can. We've got a couple of upgrades to get a hold of. Ah, the Tatron. Yes, I will be heading for you next. Though you are a pain to get to. Truck recovery there. And before I do that, I'm going to come over and get this upgrade. And get that upgrade. And then I'm going to take this route through here and go around this way and come up and get that. I don't remember if it's got fuel in it or not. I should have actually dropped my trailer off back there. Which way am I going to be heading back out? Yep. Come up here, refuel, drop my trailer off because I picked the trailer up on the way back. Actually, I have enough fuel. I think that trailer is getting close to being empty. Come on, baby. Eddie needs some new upgrades. I don't need damage, I just need upgrades. That's alright, I haven't used any of my repair points yet. I don't know, remember if the Tatron requires any um, repairs of fuel or not I don't think it does I think I jumped into it and just started driving it Tree stumps. There it is. No flipping. So, race suspension for the step. Oh, that's good. That is a truck I will use. I like the step. It's sort of like the Russian version of the Western Star. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I love the Western Star. I'm dragging that rock, aren't I? There we go. So, 
go to the left. And then head back up here to my trailer. Should be right up here. Maybe. Come on. There we go. The mud in this part of the map is unreal and it is a pain in the butt this is like mud runner mud and we're going to have to cross over it Unfortunately. So I should be able to, when I get down here, cut straight across there. And that will be easier than going through the mud. I think it's pretty solid over there. Right up where those, that concrete is, where I need to go. If I can get across the mud. Let me get up here on the logs. Check that stump. I'm going to drop this off here. And then go get the upgrade. Because I'm going to need to head that way to go get the tavern. Grade was somewhere around in here. I was looking around, not paying attention where I was going. There it is. suspension for the Tega. So that is one that I definitely want and need. So now let's go get the Tatran. Here where it's a little more solid. Surprised they didn't put a stump in amongst those little trees there. Okay, so am I going to come back out of here? No, I'm going to head straight down this way. So I need to get my trailer. And 
I forgot to turn my beacons off. So the Tatran is on a little hill. And it is surrounded by rocks. And I have tried several places to get up unsuccessfully. There's some places that look like you can get up. Uh, but you end up flipping the truck over. trees and it's either there or I actually think there's an easier way around over here it'll be easier if I hadn't run over the big rock Come on, you can climb it. You're the best scout in the game. Where is this thing? And I know people say that, you know, the Tatran's the best scout in the game. And yeah, it is good, but it has issues and flaws. Uh, one being that... Oh, why'd you attach there? Oh, there's a big old tree right there. Uh, you can't haul a trailer with it. And it does not climb rocks very well. Okay. I'm not going to be able to get over the trees. So we'll go around this way. I can actually see the Tatran right there. And we'll see if we can collect it. It would not let us get the Dan, but yes, this one we can. And change trucks. All right. So she's out of gas. That's okay. I brought it. Anchor with me. And it'll probably take all of the fuel. Nope. Pretty close to it, though. And change my trucks. You're about out of gas, so let's refuel you. And let's get out of here. Yeah, the Tatran is slow. I mean, it climbs like a billy goat. It goes through mud like it's nothing. But it is slow. And... You can't do trailers with it. And where's my way down? That way, to the right. But I did find that this combination here was really good. Driving the Tatran and 
pulling the load star was really good when you get over to uh, make sure I flip over here um, the coved map because Tatrum does really good and you can pull trailers with the Lodestar and there are areas where the Tatrum doesn't do very well and the Lodestar complements it and helps it out and yes it did go the right way have a snorkel on it. it should be able to cross here I know the load star has a lot of issues matter of fact almost every truck has issues crossing this I think the only vehicle that I brought over here that didn't have an issue crossing that where I didn't have to use the winch was the P12 Everything else had to be winched out. 